Hey guys, so I'm here to get baby Noah changed. Guys, if you don't already know who Noah is, Noah is the Willow prototype number two by Claire Teller. He is the only African boy prototype. And I am excited to see what he's going to look like in this little outfit, which is this. Uh, and um, then I have to decide on his shoes. Oh, I didn't grab his socks, so he won't get his shoes on during the video. I'm not going to stop it to, to go from there. I'll figure that out, and you'll see pictures on my Instagram um, later. So if you, um, I will show you the shoes, though, and you guys can tell me which one you think will go best. Um, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is Mr. Randy Smith as well. Um, it's an open page so you can follow me. You don't have to wait to send a request. And guys, make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you are not already. Make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and share, share, share. And if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, make sure you do join. We're doing our first live stream tonight at 8 o'clock. So, um... You guys are more than welcome to join, um, but you first have to be 18 years old at least, and it is $1.99 for the month. So, I think I've covered all my commercials, and you know, I was thinking about that video where I did um, the Equiflex 20 versus the Soft Mix, where I was kind of, I had him and Puck laying there together. And I noticed as I watched the playback, I was saying, well, it's kind of hard to tell. But for me, when I was looking back at it, I was like, you know what? It really is not hard to tell that there is a big difference because he, you can tell how he moves and how his body flow, falls um, naturally as I move him around um, in that video. And I was like, even though he's not um, the same as the mix, what Claire does with her premium dolls, his mix is very nice to where it just really falls really nicely. Um, so I really, I really, really love that uh, about him. Okay, so we got him in his diapy. I was going to change him in another diaper, but I'm going to wait because he's going to get a bottle. He have not had a bottle in a long time. I haven't even um, picked Noah up in a long time and um, no lack of interest in him or anything like that. Just busy. Life just got busy and I just didn't have the time. And so I didn't, um, I didn't pick him up, but you know, I was like, well, you know, I never think that much of it when I get a chance and I decide, you know, I, I look at him and I say I want to put him in something different. I go ahead and do that. Um, the only babies that, you know how people be like, oh, I'm going to sell, you know, Jumanji because um, I haven't touched him in a while and somebody else can be enjoying him more. The only time that happens is when you're really not into that doll anymore. Um, you're not into that doll anymore. You've lost interest in that doll. It really doesn't really have as much to do with you not touching it because they are dolls and we don't have to pick them up every single day. They don't need a human touch. <laughs> they, um, as much as we treat them like babies, dress them like babies, hold them like babies, feed them like babies, etc., etc., um, they are not real. So we don't have to have that day-to-day -day interaction with them all day etc and some of us are thanking god for that because <laughs> that can get to be a bit much with you know when you're having to do the real thing 24 7. so look at it yeah um so yeah so i'm very much in love with noah so he, i have no intentions on him ever going anywhere he has snaps at the bottom of this but i'm gonna be lazy and see if i can put it on him without the snaps um but yeah so 
Yeah, a lot of times we we have like tons of reasons why we have to sell and unfortunately sometimes the community make you feel like you need to come up with an excuse of why to sell. So I'm not judging anybody when they do it or say it just like I'm not judging anyone when they say they had something come up and then you know they like they really having some financial issues and they really need to sell their dolls and then two weeks later boom they're bringing home Josephine from Europe that cost them twenty thousand dollars and you're like oh now I found out what your financial problems were <laughs> I am not judging people on how they do anything these days it's their business is their dolls is their money is their story so but I'm telling you that you don't have to feel guilty if you still love your baby and you just don't have the time if it's a year from now at least you will still have it and be able to pick it up because I'm telling you some of these babies are not going to be able to be found come years from now because some people truly have limited editions and some people don't I mean even the ones that's you know not limited I'm not sure if 10 years from now we'll still have the same artists around not sure not sure what the community which way it'll be um but these are the shoes this one is like this I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's too much light I can't see what you guys can see let me see uh let me pull this back no okay i'm still trying well it's a light blue okay i'm definitely not able to to get that let's see well i tried that's a light blue okay i give up that's a light blue in there and then one is a solid white so one is a solid white and one has the light blue right down in that area i don't know why it's not showing up but anyway so he can choose between the two the blue is not exact as it never is but I don't know we'll see when I get his socks pull out his socks and then um, do that but for now this is it I'm gonna um, get him a bottle give him some water I've been did it a long time um, so I'm gonna do that oh my goodness him so cute <laughs> yeah I just really really love this kid I, th I think Claire really did her thing on on him and he you know to me there are some similarities between his body style and the um the Ethan but you can definitely tell that the Ethan has a lot even a lot more movement than him which is nice which it should because it's definitely more pricey than him as well um but i think that um that they they have a lot of similarities but i mean they're just really 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 baby like even though they're bigger which is great because it's fun to dress them but they still have that baby baby feel but anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, Ta-ta now.